Throughout Brazil, approximately 95% of all hotels and hostels have at least one receptionist that speaks English, so there's no need to struggle with Portuguese there. But there will be times where you will need to speak to the bellboy, to the room maid, to the room service. So let's go over those words in our third section, hotel. Starting with that very word, hotel. Sounds real similar without the H sounding, which is typically pronounced silently in Portuguese. Hotel. Hotel. The word for ice sounds like this. Gelo. Gelo. The word for room is... Quarto. Really open your mouth when you say that word. Quarto. The word for TV is... TV. Sounds like the two same words, but the letters are pronounced differently in Portuguese. TV. Instead of the word T in English, which is a T-E-E -E sound, Portuguese it's more like a T-A-Y sound. We hear it again. T-V. If you're having problems, you may want to point at the TV, for example, and say the word problems. Problema. Problema na TV. Problem with the TV. The word for breakfast is... Café da manhã. Now that's a real mouthful, but let's break that down. The first word... Café. The second... Da... And the third. Manhã. Manhã is a difficult word because it's pronounced very nasal-like. Brazil has a number of words that take on that nasal sound. It's very unique. It's rather hard to uh, master, but if you can imagine saying the word through your nose, you'll be able to, um, in time, achieve it. So the word for breakfast sounds like... Café da manhã. Café da manhã. Don't worry if you're not able to pronounce all three of those words. It's a lot of words strung together, particularly that last word. Manhã. That's a tough one. The word for air conditioner is a very long word. It sounds like... Ar condicionado. So we can hear that it sounds similar to the English word, but with a whole lot of extra vowels thrown in there. Don't worry if you don't get it the very first time. Here's how it sounds again. Ar condicionado. Ar condicionado. If it's time to have the laundry done, you can point to your dirty laundry and mention to the maid. Lavanderia. That's the word for laundry. Lavanderia. Towels are... Toalhas. Toalha. To say the word key... Chave. Chave. And our final word for hotels is actually the word once you get out of the major cities for many of the ends in the countryside motels. That word is... Pousada. You'll see it littered along the countrysides wherever you go. Again, the word is... Pousada. Pousada.